Hi there. So in this video, we will take a look at installation of Casper.js on Windows operating system. So go to casper.js.org and on right hand side, you'll find download links for beta version and stable version. So currently the stable version is 1.0.4. Okay, so you have to download that zip and extract into the place from where you want to execute Casper.js batch file. Okay, so I have extracted Casper.js within directory of PhantomJS. So I'm going to this batch bin directory of Casper.js and then copy that address as text. Now minimize the window, go to my computer link and then go for properties. Go to advanced system settings. This should open system properties dialog box. Go to environment variables. Now find the path within system variables. Once you find the path, click on edit button. Here you have to paste the address that you just copied up to batch bin directory and then use semicolon. Then click on OK. Then again click on OK. Then click OK or cancel to close this dialog box. Then close this control panel as well. Okay, now one thing you have to do for version 1.0.4 is it has one issue that doesn't allow you to immediately execute Casper.js on console. So open bootstrap.js file in your text editor. Now there is one fix that I have found on GitHub page and I have pasted that from line number 36 to 39. So pause the video. I'm going to zoom this up to this screen and so you can copy from line 36 to 39 and then simply write this code within your bootstrap.js or you can simply go to that github page where you can get the code snippet and paste it within your bootstrap.js either way you can simply need to add this fix for version 1.0.4 if you have future versions, let's say like Casper.js 2 or 2.1, this issue will not arise, okay? So if you are using 1.0.3 or 1.0.4, then please do make this fix so that Casper.js can be run without any issues on your windows. Now, minimize browser and open your console. Here, type in casper.js and then double dash version okay and it will return you with version number if you see this version number that means casper.js is installed on your command prompt do note that your casper.js requires installation of phantom.js as it's dependent on phantom.js so you need to have that installed. I also have PhantomJS installed. Okay, and you can see both of them are on my system. Unless PhantomJS path is found by CasperJS, it won't execute. So this was a short video on how to install CasperJS on your operating system. If you want to know how to install PhantomJS, then do take a look at some of my earlier videos to find that link or you can check the description of the video for installation of phantom js on windows